Hello. While I'm sat here inert, I wondered, do you want to see some pretties? Okay, so uh, this is lot 93. Uh, this reads as various sort of brooches, basically. Um, so it should all be brooches or pins. Um, now, I paid up a bit, as we say, on these £40 because I definitely wanted some brooches simply because they're so easy to, um, well, sometimes I give them a bit of a clean, but most of the time I can just photograph them because they're vintage anyway. And uh, so £40 plus commission, it would have cost me about 51 So I've got to hope that there's at least 25 in here that I can sell on, which makes them about £3 each. So somebody's obviously pinning this lot to here. I'll take that out, we'll do that in a minute. Uh, and there's some boxes in here as well. Well, I'll have a look at what's in these boxes. No, oh, I'm so sorry for what we need. Veronese. Nice. Nice box. Ooh. Oh, it's actually a hair grip. That's my hair grip. It's very, very pretty. I'm not pretty enough for that, but it'd be nice clipped in backy hair for a, or a wedding or something. You could actually clip it over the top of a pocket, I suppose. But yeah. So one non brooch. Can't see a name on the back. I've just asked Phil to bring me my loop down, so if I find anything that needs looping, then I'll have to do it in a minute. So. That's that. Box number two. Oh, hat and cane. Camelot. Right, so I'll have to look up Camelot brooches, see whether it's in the right. Um, doesn't look like it's actually come out of that box ever at the way that's folded. Hmm. Barclay. Right, so it might be like a 50s or even earlier. Patton cane. Very nice. I'll have a look at the clasp in a bit. Um, John Richard. John Richard rings a bell. Wow. Oh, that's a nice nick. Still with its tag on. How beautiful is that? That really is. Nice. So, I've got three things I can sell so far. Um, right. Oh, no, I'm not sure if this isn't wax. Like moulded wax, which they used to use in the 40s or 50s. Um, you used to get a lot of moulded wax things on uh, wedding cakes, I noticed, you know, like the um, display of flowers for the top or for bells for the corners. But, I mean, to be honest, if they are wax, if you bit it, you go straight through it, but it's not something A, I want to put in my mouth and B, I won't want to spoil it because it's lovely, so. I'll do a little bit more research on that, but it's very very big bold piece yeah lovely happy with that uh, this one's got something on there I can't even see can 
I suppose it will be. No. I can't make anything out. Two toned. Still got a lot of sparkle, so that's quite uh, bold. Got a very long pin. Nice. So I'm on five. Oof. Oofed. That is filthy. They're quite heavy, those. Yeah, I think when that's cleaned up, somebody might like it. That's very striking, isn't it? Six. Have a bit of china. No, nice china brooch, all intact, no name on it, but pretty. Very fifties. Hmm. Well, eight. Oh, gorgeous bling. Wow. Awesome. You do realise when I say awesome, I don't mean I'd wear it, but I love anything that sparkles and um, I like looking at it. I could just look at sparkles all day. Hmm. Very nice, just a C class on that. No name. But yeah, a lot of bling. Oh, lost count already, God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, no name. No. Painted stones all intact. Good. That's a big one, look. If you're going to have one, have a big one. Very nice, that. Ten. Right, I'm happy so far. Not discarded or anything yet. Plastic. Wow. I like it, though. What, 60s, 70s? A cameo of some sort. It's a pendant or brooch. No name. Well, I can see right through that. Can you see it? I'm not in the know with cameos. I need to look it up. I know they were done on shell, weren't they? And if you could see through it. But they couldn't do plastic, you can see through, so I'm not sure. But it's very old. I like it. Twelve. More bling. What's the enemy missing? No. Mm 
Nineteen. Another cameo tag. Right, this will be at number 14. I was rudely interrupted by somebody who's been at work all day and coming and wants his tea. Um, yes, another brooch. Cameo. Uh, they're resin, aren't they? There must be some, yeah, it's shiny, not that one. Um, it's nicely done, though. It's really pretty. Ah, fourteen. Okay, so. Fifteen. Uh, it's uh, white painted metal. Don't think it's it's definitely not silver. It looks like a damascene sort of finish, but that's just white. It's not. It's not silver that bit. It's very pretty. Pin's a little bit bent. So I'll get my players out and straighten that up. I've got a right dab on, hang on a minute. Oh, it's going to be a bit chopped up this because uh, I've got tea cooking. We're having pie, chips and uh, sprouts, believe it or not. Um, pretty. Are they all there? I think so. They're lovely, they're like a smoky quartz. Um, it's a sort of later brooch made to look a lot earlier, I think. Oh, it's uh, m and I believe. When did they start doing jewellery? Now that's an interesting research thing, isn't it? When did m and start doing jewellery? Yeah, and I need to look at the signatures. I don't think it's a scrolly one either. Oops. Yeah. It's not like a scrolly M and S. So, I'll have a St. Michael. But it's pretty. I like it. Somebody will like it. Nice. So, 15 we're on. Acorn. No, fir cone. No. Oh, my God, what's that? No. No signatures. So that's 17. Pretty, nice. 18 am I for? Yeah, 18. China, and a queen. Coronation 1953, bone China made in England. June the 2nd, 1953. Lovely. I've just spotted this, it's a filthy one. Look at the colour of that. That is minging, isn't it? Don't know whether it's painted on the top and it's worn off. Yeah. Not pleasant. What does that say there? It says one one two, it's probably just a model number then. Yeah, nothing else on it. Yeah, that might be my first reject. Come on, I want number 20. This looks like fish. 
Yes, oh, pretty. Black and red enameled by fish. Yeah. That's 20, so that's good. Let's see if we can get another five out of this. Don't know what that is. Pearls. Is that wearing off? Gosh, that is absolutely filthy look. I'll get a brush in there. Oh, all missing. So that's in broken lock. Blue stones, quite a few missing. See, somebody doing these, they could take all these out and, and put matching ones and use that as a, a base if you like. All this crafting. So that's another one. So we're stuck on 20. Yeah, lovely colour. Lovely colour. It's like a tourmaline colour. Still missing there. What a shame. Yeah, that's a real shame that. I love tourmaline. I've got some tourmaline jewelry absolutely love it. Oh, what's this? Is that a um spaniel? It's not a setter, is it? I don't think. Is that a spaniel of some about? Is it a King Charles spaniel? I don't know, I'm not very uh, into dogs. Well, knowledgeable about dogs. So, but we'll have it. 21. Yay! 21. Small bling. That'll do even if in a lot. How? Don't stab yourself for these things, will you? Ooh, A, B stones. Missing. Missing. Missing, missing. That's a shame. Another reject. I'm not sure this one will clean up enough. What's that say? Something there. It says 1973. I don't know if it says Gross or Ross, Germany. So I'll have to look up both of those options. But 1973 marked piece. So we'll see if it cleans up with a soapy cloth. Let's just look up that name. Hold on. Yeah, it is Gross with a G. And uh, coming up, all of them was 1968. Um, seen odd ones at about £35. This is very, very, very plain. I mean, there's one that's uh, like fancy on Poshmark for 35 uh, Let's see if I can find an eBay one. Um... Let's see. Let's see, it's got one. Fashion studio. Let's see. I don't like going to Pinterest, that's a whole. I just don't like how it works. Um, no, I'll hold that up in a bit. There's one on ebay.com. Yeah. So, yeah, it would be a nice name to put on a bundle if I end up bundling it. So, have you all been counting? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. So we're on 22. Um, little Limoges style. 
which is the milk, made barley milk spells. Okay, 23. Oh, and a little bit of tie. Gosh, look at, look at that. See, oh, it's not, it's a, that's it. Little bow tie. Twenty-three, twenty-four. Now, right, I'm not giving an old one It's a pin. Oh, it's a little owl. Is it fish? Mm. I don't see my back into what they do. I don't know if it is or not. No. No. A little owl pin. So I've got the twenty-five. Right, we'll start with this lot after tea. Right, we've had tea. I must admit the pie were blooming horrible. Uh, it was more gravy pie. Um, it's what you get when you just buy them, isn't it? I'm trying to take these off here, I've took most of them off um, before I came back to start because I thought, oh, just take forever that. Right, ball egg. Whoop. Right, ball egg. Right. So, I wonder if anybody can help me with this. I don't know what this says. Uh, it looks like it's this way up. And it's um, black inlaid there. This one's a brooch. And all it says is made in England. And this is a pin. But I can't make out what it is because to me, it this scroll runs all the way around there like that. And then it goes up, down, up and round. And then the next one, same, curls round and goes down like that. Then it goes up but further up and back down and up and round. And what looks like an apostrophe there. Because it's not quite connected unless it's just the end of that swirl. Uh, and the number 10, because it's a one, and then there's a stone to represent the north, I think. So if it's something blindingly obvious, you can have a laugh, but I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be that's a 10. Something, something 10. Hmm. If you can help, pop it me in, that'd be great. Thank you very much. Right. Um, missing... One, two, three, which is a shame because that's pretty. There we go. So this is bonus round this, isn't it? Because I've already found the 25. That's just warm plastic. Um, oh, something on it. What's that say? Let's have a look. Oh, it's a Hollywood. It's a Hollywood, that one. It's a resin stone, what's that? Could be marbled glass. No, it's a resin. Uh, so that, I love that one. Um, more stones missing. There. So, broken lots coming along nicely. Metal. Filigree. It's got all its stones, but sorry, I've just moved it over to the light so I can see it better. Um, mm. I think it's really old. It's just a little C class. It's very, very lightweight. But I'm going to clean them up and see what they look like. It's slightly twisted. So I might just sort of put it in the bit. Oh, can you see how it's twisted like? Um, I might just put it in brown lots, I might not, I'll see. I'll see, not sure on that one. And we've got a crown, wow. That's got them all. And no name. No name. It's a good old pin, that. It's 
Yep, pretty. That's that sort of tourmaline colour talking about. Love them baguette stones. Hmm. Lovely. So we'll have that one. Another, I don't know, Alex, what's that? Uh, deco one? Art deco? It's got all its pieces. No name. Another three there. This one's got a mother of pearl look about it. I think it's just an early plastic one. I mean, like not mega real, I don't know if they're class letters. That short, yeah, just. That's all it does. Yeah. Cut. Flowers. Quite striking on the black. Black background. Got some book in it. Oh. Very pretty. These are more modern plastic pieces, I think these. And no name. Yeah. Still got all these stoves though, so I can go. Oh, I've got one still attached there, I didn't realise. Um this is quite an impressive one. And Oh, tiny one there. Oh, what's your own one there? Um, yeah. Oh, no, hang on a minute. What does this do on the back? That opens up somehow. Right, hang on a minute. Right, I fathomed it. That's the back bit. For the brooch and I think these two must be either shoe clips or dress clips um, you know for if you'd got like a, squ a square an old-fashioned 50s square or sweetheart um, even earlier perhaps even 40s uh, or perhaps they clip onto your shoes. So do whatever you want with them, really, I suppose. Or your hat or your hair or whatever. Uh, and then that, you've got two like this. And you put one, I don't think it matters which way up. That's the right way, I think. And yeah. So one goes over that one, and that one goes up through there, and then that clips to that, and that clips in that, and then you've got a brooch. How lovely! I might sell that on its own anyway then without... Um, without those stones, but yeah, interesting. Interesting to look up that. Oh, um, a little pin, just a little flower pin. Or brooch, should I say, uh, tiny. Tiny little thing. Don't know if it signifies anything. Uh, this china one, but it's got a broken leaf down there. Yeah, so broken a lot. Quite atomic, this, I think. And uh, it's just got one little stone missing there. Yeah. And if I do do this broken lot, I'll photograph them all. Um, so rather than it just looking at a random bundle, Isn't that odd? Okay, in. Is it in? Yeah. Anyway, bit of 
bitte das so ein bisschen an der Ohr. So, und you have to look carefully because sometimes they glisten with the backing from that's been left behind from the stones when when they're actually missing. But yeah, there's no name on it, but it's lovely. Um black topaz coloured stones and one missing there. Oh, save my fingers. What's this? Hat pin. Uh, and one more that's still attached. Come off, come off. Where are we? On the end. Oh, please just chuck them in a box. Don't stick them on them things. Uh, silver tone, metal, mesh. Lovely finish. Looks like a Hollywoody type. Uh, it's got a number on, I think. Oh, look what you got on. Yeah. Just got a number one seven five on it. Uh, and no other name, but somebody probably like that. So we had 25, 26, 27, 28, 28. not sure. Uh, 29, complimentary. Twenty-nine thirty. Thirty-one. 32, 33, mm. so 33, so £1.50 it would have been, uh, uh, forty-nine off, nearly, so about £1.60, about £1.60 per brooch, which is okay, I'm happy with that. Hope well, you've enjoyed that. I'll try and uh, clip out any bits that's um, just interfering with the flow. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Love you loads. Take care. Bye.